Okay, we're going to see if these three functions are linearly dependent or linearly independent. So be sure you pause this video and give this a try first. And now, let's see. For f1, f2, 4x plus 1 and sin x. Well, they are totally different. They are not constant multiple of each other. So these two are linearly independent, Li, okay? And then if you compare f2 and f3, similar situation. They are not constant multiple of each other, so they are linearly independent as well. But if you look at f1 and f3, in fact, they are linearly dependent because these two are constant multiple of each other. And now, that's what we're going to do. Because, and there's actually one theorem for that, if you can find out two functions in a set that they are linearly dependent, the whole thing is linearly dependent, okay? LD for the whole thing. But I don't have that theorem for you guys yet. Uh, I will just show you guys with the traditional way to do this, all right? I'm going to show you guys all this are LD. To do so, be sure you use the definition, the C1, C2, C3. Do not use the wrong skin to show LD, okay? So anyways, to show LD, I'm just going to put down C1 to be multiplied it with 4x plus 1, plus C2 times sin x, and then plus C3 multiplying with 2x plus 1 half, and we'll make this equal to 0. Alright, so this is how I'm going to do it. Perhaps many of you guys see already. All I'm going to do is, I am just need to make C3 to be negative 2. <laughs> because negative 2 times this will give us negative 4x. Negative 2 times that is minus 4, right? And now, I can just go ahead and make C1 equal to positive 1. Because positive 1 times this is 4x, and then 1 times that is plus 1. And you see, they will all cancel out. But what happened to the middle term? Well, remember the definition. As long as you can find C1, C2, C3, not all zero, then you can show that the functions are LD, all right? But sometimes one of the C's can be zero, and that's the situation here. I will just purposely pick C2 to be zero, so we don't have the sine function to worry about at all. So in the middle, put on plus zero and all that. This, that, cancel, this, up. Uh, cross out, of course you get 0 is equal to 0, done. So at the end, you can see that by selecting, I'll just say, uh, by selecting C1 to be 1, C2 to be 0, and C3 to be negative 2, you can show that F1, F2, F3 are linearly dependent. That's it. It's 10.37 p.m.